Hey, what's up, barbecue lovers? Welcome back to another Arnie Tex Productions. We've been out on the cook-off trail, cooking and cooking, and uh, we've been doing pretty good this year. We've got three reserve grand champions and a couple of really good walks, and so we're happy with that. Some interesting things happened that brought us to this production here today. We were asked to do a product review. I wasn't really planning to do any product reviews anytime soon, but there's a company that reached out to us and asked us to review their product. And we said yes, under the conditions, that we would be able to raffle off that same product that we used in this review to one of you guys. And under the second condition that I could be brutally honest about the product. And that product, my friends, is the Yenin Heat Resistance Barbecue Grill Gloves, also known as Oven Mitts. So why do you need gloves in barbecue? <laughs> well, we cook around fire all day, every day. And I'm not historically a big glove guy, but I do have several pairs. I've always wanted a better glove than the ones that I've had. So what can people do with gloves and barbecue? You can pick up the actual grate or move the fire tray around. You can maneuver and handle some pits that get very hot at the handles. You can actually pick up a fire tray and move it to another location. Some guys start their fires in a chimney and they're always trying to figure out a way to get the chimney and dump the coals into their pits or into their smokers, that's where a glove can really make a big difference because I've had to do that myself and it's always a challenge to do it without actually burning your hands. One of the cons to using gloves, they're not normally usable like a hand and so they're always stiff. In many cases, a lot of the gloves out there are just relabeled welding gloves and they're stiff and the more you use them the stiffer and harder they get that's one of the reasons i don't normally use gloves uh, it's kind of hard to open a bag of charcoal kind of hard to open the doors if you have one of those latch doors on your barbecue grill or your smoker anyway those are some of the cons uh, sometimes it's really hard to work with gloves when when you have those really hard stiff gloves that don't flex like these do so what that means is we're going to put these bad boys to the test So these are the Yenin heat resistant barbecue gloves and they're meant to handle really, really hot objects. These gloves are created from a high quality Meta Aramid Fibronomics. I have no idea what that is. You know, I'm not here to break down or explain. All I know is that they work. As you saw in the video, we even picked up a live coal, a pretty good size one and a pretty hot one. We went from glove to glove, actually held in our hand. So we used our performance tool, laser infrared thermometer to register the temperatures. This little gadget is designed to give readings up to 700 degrees. The instant we put it by the fire and by the grates, it was well over 700 degrees. The minute we hit it, it was high. When this thing registers high, that means it's way, way, way over 700 degrees. So it was definitely way up there, close to the limits of probably what these gloves can handle. They're not necessarily flame resistant or fire resistant. They're simply made for you to be able to handle very, very extremely hot objects for an extended period of time. Doesn't guarantee that you'll never burn yourself because I mean, things happen, but they are an effective and excellent tool to handle all of these very, very hot objects. So we put the yen in gloves to the test. First, we laid our hands on hot, hot, hot grill grates. Didn't do nothing. Then I actually physically picked up the grates and I rotated them around. I actually held it for quite a while. And I actually reached into the barbecue smoker and picked up a live coal, a raging hot piece of lump charcoal and handled it from one glove to the next, laid it back in there. After we were done cooking, I put a hot pan, a food pan inside the barbecue pit and then I put the food in there. I let it all rest in there for a few minutes so it got nice and hot. Then I simply picked up the tray, 
with the gloves, walked it into the house. So we definitely tested it four different ways that should have, in many cases, at the very least, I would have felt the heat inside on my hand. It actually repelled the heat and it didn't actually go into the glove as much as I'm normally accustomed to feeling when handling hot items with other gloves. One of my pro tips has been to use foil to clean your grades. I did it twice with the gloves and I did it for an extended period of time. And uh, you know, this actually helped protect my forearm, but I was able to go back and forth, back and forth for quite a bit of time. At some point after a long period of time, I did feel some warmth in there, but I never actually felt like, oh man, I, that glove's hot, I need to take it off. Not one single time that I feel like I needed to take the glove off like that. I do have to say, friends, uh, I, I said I was gonna be brutally honest, so, so I'm being brutally honest. It's still a glove. So it does hinder you a little bit on certain little things, you know. Really and truly, as far as barbecuing goes and handling things outside by the barbecue grill, I never felt limited in what I could do as far as use with, with these gloves. I was able to pick up the grade. I could raise and lower the grade on my smoker. I can open the lid. I could actually spread the coals with the glove and it wasn't gonna burn me. I think it's a very effective glove. It's great for working outdoors around hot items. I think they do a really, really good job. All right, guys, so we're winding this down. Would I recommend this glove to you? Well, if you do handle a lot of hot items around the barbecue area or around your kitchen, or if you're an outdoor Dutch oven kind of person, these definitely work. I absolutely would recommend them, especially if you're already a glove user. I can pretty much tell you these are probably some of the best gloves I've ever, ever used to handle hot items in the past. But again, some people don't like using gloves and if you really feel like you don't need them because you don't handle a lot of hot items, then maybe they're not for you. But if you do handle a lot of hot items, I absolutely would recommend them for sure. Like I said at the beginning, friends, we're gonna give away a pair of these gloves and Yenin was kind enough to send me two pairs of gloves. So I get to keep one and you get to keep one. Somebody out there gets this glove right here. So make sure you check out the description and follow the links for the free giveaway. Well, that wraps it up for today, friends. Don't forget to share this video with a couple of your barbecue loving friends. Make sure you like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Remember, keep the smoke light and make it work. <laughs>